And one of the big stories coming out of the U.S. Capitol is new whistleblower complaint that is raising concerns about how the White House responded to the COVID-19 pandemic, filed by the government's former top vaccine official. He says he was demoted for refusing to put politics ahead of science, and he alleges other government officials were all too willing to do that. Our senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe, has more on the allegations and the complainant. It comes from Rick Bright, and what he says happened in the early days of warnings about this pandemic is that his bosses, including his direct bosses, all the way up to the Health and Human Service Secretary, ignored his warnings about what a catastrophe the coronavirus pandemic could be. He details this uh, in, in emails and says that when it came to the mask issue in particular, it was in January when Bright says that he warned uh, his bosses that there could be a, a mask shortage and that those concerns were dismissed. Some of the most serious charges here go to the culture of the organization and the influence of private industry. In this complaint, Bright alleges that politics and cronyism uh, took precedence over the opinions of scientists. And an example he gives of that is is his concerns about industry consultants. Uh, one consultant in particular tied to the pharmaceutical industry having greater influence than the scientists working for the government. And when it comes to a particular drug that we've heard so much about, uh, that's hydroxychloroquine, it, it was the concerns that Bright says he expressed over that, which we, we had heard about before, which we'd heard uh, about from the president, uh, that led to his being demoted from this top position. Now, uh, these are tensions that Bright says he had been dealing with it uh, for, for years, dating back to 2018, but he believes it was pushing back on this drug that the president kept talking about, kept touting, that cost him this particular job. Here's Bright's lawyer. They clearly had their sights set on him. They were not happy with him. They didn't appreciate the pushback. Uh, and they decided the easiest thing to do was to get him out of the way. Now, the government says that is not the case, that he has not been demoted, that he's given an important job in terms of uh, testing development at the National Institutes of Health, a job that the, the spokesperson says he hasn't shown up for. According to Bright's lawyers, that's because he has a doctor's note, he has hypertension related to this situation, and uh, what he really wants is to get his job back. At senior Washington editor Lindsay Duncombe, some breaking news out of Washington and Donald Trump. Uh, the big story, or one of the big stories, has been on the future of the coronavirus task force. In a series of tweets just now, the president announcing he's essentially reversing the position he took yesterday when he said the coronavirus task force was being disbanded imminently. Series of tweets just out from the president now saying the task force headed by Vice President Mike Pence has done a fantastic job and goes on to say that the task force will continue on indefinitely with its focus on safety and opening up our country again, we may add or subtract people to it as appropriate. The task force will also be very focused on vaccines and therapeutics. So there had been a lot of concern and questioning about why he was disbanding uh, a group that was following science, a couple of prominent doctors on that, of course, Dr. Fauci and Dr. Burks, and people looking to that agency as providing guidance through the pandemic. Obviously, hearing about that and reversing the decision he announced yesterday, it will continue on the coronavirus task force now indefinitely. 